Hello, this is Jim Haldeman with Lessman Instrument Company. Today I'd like to take a few minutes and review the recently released Siemens P320 pressure transmitter compared to the previous DS3 pressure transmitter. I want to look at this in three different ways, form, fit, and functionality. From a form and fit perspective, both the P320 and the DS3 are identical. What this means, if you're a user of the, P, of the DS3 and you, you want to uh, put a P320 where that was, you don't have to worry about any piping changes. They will fit in the same spot. If you're an OEM and you have systems designed around the DS3, you don't need to change anything. The same P320 will fit in the same spot. So from a form and a fit perspective, they're identical. Where things change is on the top. You can look that on the DS3, you're familiar with the little cover that opens on top where there's three push buttons. On the P320, you slide the cover now and there are four push buttons. One of the reasons there's four push buttons is because you can access 35 parameters now with the P320, whereas on the DS3, you could access 15 parameters, so a lot more data accessible from the display and from the push buttons. Regarding the display, you had a nice display on the DS3. Of course, on the P320, it's larger and offers you a lot more information. There's a graphical bar graph on it, and one of the key differences with the P320 is you can use this to display non-pressure engineering units, which means you can use this to measure volume in gallons or mass, you can use it for level, and you can use it for flow which is really important because many of these transmitters are used on differential pressure devices like orifice plates or annubars and you want to actually see the flow rate on the display not the percent of output now you can do that from the four push buttons on the unit and actually have shown on your display in this example i have gallons per minute so because there's more functionality, you needed the fourth push button, um, and it's easier set up now right here from the, the four push buttons. So no handheld, no software required. The graphical display itself can be rotated 360 degrees. However, they put in a stop in here so that you can't go beyond 360 degrees. If you went beyond 360 degrees, you could potentially damage the lead wire. So they put a mechanical stop in there. Like all Siemens PI products, the P320 has a two-year warranty from the date it's shipped. Another feature of the push buttons is if you have a, a, a transmitter on the shelf, might have been there for a while, and you want to install it, you don't know if anyone actually had pre-programmed the unit, you might want to get it back to a factory default. You can actually get to a factory default now using the push buttons, whereas on the DS3 you had to use the software. So that's a nice feature as well. Another feature is this push button hold. So if I were using it in a flow application and I wanted to go from say zero to a 10,000 and I was going to go in here and scale that, I'd have to use the push buttons to do that. But to hit the button down while I go from zero to 10,000 to get to your maximum value would take a while. So it has a functionality where you can start the process and then hit the second button and let go and the counter will automatically count for you until you get close to your target, in this case 100,000, and when you got close, you'd hit the button to stop it, and then you can just find two to get your 100,000. So it actually, it's a little user uh, enhancement, and it makes it a little less frustrating to set up the, uh, the display. You can also go either way, up or down in the display. On the DS3, you could go basically one way in a continuous loop. So you started on parameter one, you'd go to parameter 15, you couldn't go back. With the P320, with the up and down arrows, now you can go back and forth. So if I'm at parameter 20 and I need to go back to parameter 18 to make a change, I don't have to go all the way through the loop. I can just up arrow a couple of spots and I'm now at P18. So it works really nice. It also has a display test. Because there's so much data on the display, you want to make sure it's functioning properly. You can actually go in via the push buttons and you can actually run a diagnostics on the display and make sure that it's functioning properly. So really, from form and a fit, 
identical. You shouldn't be concerned at all about using the P320. And with regards to functionality, you're going to get a lot more out of it. Uh, you've got a fourth push button because there's more data that you can program. And of course, I think the big advantage is having the ability with the push buttons to, say, to change the graphical display to show you level and volume as well as in gallons and in mass and certainly flow measurement. So that's all today. If you'd like to get a little more detail as to how to use these buttons, in the description below, you'll see a link which will take you to one or two Siemens YouTube videos, which they get more in depth in the programming feature of the P320. So that's all for now. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great day.